Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which is set to release on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC on June 30th. And today we're going to be checking out the second wave of brand new Silkbind Switch skill attacks that are going to be added into Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Capcom went ahead and dropped three brand new short trailers showcasing just some of the Switch skills Silkbind attacks that you're going to have access to when this game actually releases. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Hammer. We're going to be checking out the Great Sword, and interestingly enough, the Insect Glaive, which I think has seen some great changes when it comes to the Kinsect. So starting out with the hammer, which should be some of the gameplay you're seeing right now, you actually get to see the Gosserag Master Rank Armor. We did get to see this one in a previous clip before. I thought it was the Dobi Gadachi Armor Master Rank. It does look very similar, but alas, that was not the case. We're also getting to see the Luna Garen Hammer as well, which is something that we had seen in a still image before, but we had not seen it in actual gameplay. So what we do get to see here is, of course, two brand new switch skills being added in. The first one is called Impact Burst. It says that it adds a shockwave of charged attacks for a period of time, making it easier to flinch monsters. Uh, if you remember the description for the Destroyer Oil that we just went over for the Sword and Shield, this one seems extremely similar. Flinching monsters seem to be something that they're starting to give a little bit more focus to, as some of the weapons are not necessarily tailored for necessarily criticals or maybe status bonuses so they're trying to give him a little bit more of a flinch effect idea so we're getting to see here that he basically puts the hammer to spin very similar to something you would expect to see with a hunting horn uh, and then just begins to well on it uh, i believe there's a three combo spin and then of course the big hammer uppercut which is a pretty easy bread and butter combo when it comes to the hammer then the second switch skill that they decided to showcase is actually called Spinning Bludgeon Charge. And this one is very similar to the Silk Bind Spinning Bludgeon. So that's an ability that's already available in the game. And basically what they go ahead and showcase is that with the Silk Bind Spinning Bludgeon, you charge it up, you spin three triple spins, and then of course Hammer Uppercut, pretty straightforward. Uh, and then they switch skill into the Spinning Bludgeon Charge, which is another charge one. And then just two spins, three spins, and then Uppercut, you kind of evade backwards, and then you do kind of like a backhanded uh, Hammer Wop forward, if you will. So it is very straightforward. Um, they then showcase it with the spinning bludgeon charge done first. Then they switch skill swap to the silk pine spinning bludgeon. And then they just kind of combo those together basically to get KO damage easier onto that Rathian, which is pretty helpless at that point in time. We then transition to the Grit Sword, which is now uh, you're going to see the Hunter actually wearing the brand new Malzano Master Rank armor, fighting up against uh, Zenogre. Uh, the Master Rank uh, Malzano armor is something that we had seen before already, uh, but we now actually get to see it in full motion. Uh, we do get to see the first silk bun attacks, which is just really called Strong Garm Stands. Uh, it says a technique that uses iron silk to reinforce both your arms and your weapon temporarily to fend off attacks. Now, the interesting thing about this one is that it pretty much makes you flinch less or stun less. That's basically what it's trying to do. Uh, so you're still going to get hit by a monster. Presumably, you're going to take a little bit less damage. That's not like you're not going to be like invisible or anything like that. But what they do showcase in the next couple of clips is that you pretty much have some Nogre kind of attacking you. And all you really do is get pushed back a little bit. Your attack does not seem to get interrupted. And all you do is get taken back a little bit. Typically, you will get flinched. You will get knocked out of your position. You would typically perhaps even get knocked the back to your butt or maybe flung backwards that is not the case here so it's going to be one of those attacks that silk bond attacks that you're going to definitely want to do when the monster is ready to do uh, one of those big heavy attacks it reminds me of kind of like uh, old mother narwa with the spinning uh, dragonators maybe this one would be an excellent uh, silk bond to use at that point in time so you can go ahead and kind of like even if you do end up getting hit with it not a big deal it shouldn't kill you and you shouldn't necessarily get flung into another dragonator behind you which could you know cause a double hit ko kind of a situation they also showcase the other silk button attack called search slash combo and this one is just a direct uh, fo forward facing uh kind of like triple combination of attacks so they sh uh, kind of showcase the search charge combo rage latch which is actually interested uh, described there and uh, basically it just kind of like 
creates a whirlwind of attacks. A head of one forward, left swind, right swind, like kind of like pick up, then you can charge up again, and then just kind of like stand there and do two forward thrusts with a big wind up, like uh, head overhead slash. So you have six total attacks with the surge slash combo, then they switch over to the charge slash combo, and then you can just kind of well on the monster. If you can kind of obviously hit all of them all together, which of course is gonna be one of those where, you know, it really feels situational. Cause I remember with the uh, switch axe, I believe we saw one of those where it was just kind of attack after attack after attack. And ultimately at some point is like the monster is not gonna stand there perfect position for you to keep hitting it over and over. It's really going to be up to you to make sure you reposition properly uh, so you can actually keep boiling on it at a, a decent uh, chunk of the time. Now the final set of skills that we're going to take a look at here is the insect glaive and this one I do find fascinating only because I was checking out the insect glaive in the game quite a bit. This is the weapon that I kind of got through the whole story mode. So when I see some of these combos that they're showcasing, uh, they seem pretty dang cool. First and foremost, you do have the Somnicanth Master Rank Armor, and of course, you're just fighting a typical uh, Rathalos there. Nothing all that special. Um, what you do get to see is that the first Silkbind attack is called Awaken Kensect Attack, and this one is one of the ones that we did get a short clip of when they showcased it in the reveal trailer a while back when they were talking about new skills, but of course, we didn't have a name of it. Now we know that the technique where you can throw a Kensect to inflict massive damage. So you're going to fling out your Kinsect, uh, it's going to hit a monster, and then interesting enough, you get a Silk Bind directly flinging yourself forward to the spot where the Kinsect made contact. So it's going to be one of those that is not only going to be great for repositioning, but it's also going to be great to closing the gap whenever you get to a monster. Kinsect typically have been rather slow. Most of the good ones are extremely slow or very mid-speed. With this one, you can kind of just fling it forward extremely fast. Know you're going to get a guaranteed hit. You're going to get the abstract as well. You're going to get the, you know, booster, yellow, uh, red, or white that you're going to need. And on top of that, you're going to get extra damage as you fling yourself forward because then you can combo into other attacks. And this is the thing that they decided to showcase with the rest of the clips. So they actually showcase how you can just kind of use the Awakened Kensect attack into a dive which is the other soak bind attack into just a basic bread and butter aerial combination or you can actually use it after a recall kinsect so you bring your kinsect back from whatever it is usually doing a slow movement and then you can use a kinsect slash to pretty much fling it forward and then fling yourself forward at the same time. So it's gonna be one of those where the awakened kinsect is gonna be extremely good for closing gaps and then you're gonna have the Kinsec Slash to just kind of pretty much do easy damage in the air. You switch skill swap to a Dive and Wyvern, which is just one of the most strongest attacks that the Insect Glaive just raw damage wise has. And you're looking pretty good when it comes to actual damage with this weapon. But that's about all the details that I wanted to go over in this rather short video since they are going to continually drop more switch skills and hopefully we get to see some of the hunting horn changes that I've been going over uh, in a separate video as well. Uh, we've been talking about how the horn is definitely going to get a whole heck of a lot more love than it already did originally in Rise. So we're hoping to see more of that as well. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.